Understanding Crimea River, a phrase explained. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating English idiom, Crimea River. This phrase is common in English conversations and media, but what does it actually mean? Let's dive in and find out together. Crimea River originated as an American colloquialism and gained popularity through a song of the same name by Arthur Hamilton, famously sung by Julie London in 1955. The phrase has since become a staple in English language, often used in various contexts. Understanding its origin helps in grasping its meaning and usage. Literally, the phrase paints a picture of someone crying so many tears that they could fill a river. However, figuratively, it's used to express a lack of sympathy for someone's complaints or troubles. It's often used in a somewhat sarcastic or ironic manner. To better understand, let's look at some examples. 1. In disagreement. If someone is complaining about a minor problem, you might respond with, cry me a river, to indicate that you think their complaint is trivial or overblown. 2. In popular culture. This phrase is often used in movies, songs, and books to portray a character who is being dismissive or unsympathetic to another's problems. It's important to use this phrase carefully. It can come across as insensitive or mocking if used in a serious or sensitive situation. It's more appropriate in casual conversations among friends or in humorous contexts. Crimea River is a classic example of English idioms where the figurative meaning is far removed from the literal words. It's a colorful way to express lack of sympathy, but remember to use it wisely. Thanks for watching, and we hope this video has helped you understand this intriguing phrase. Happy learning!